In this video, I'm going to show you how to view your free float or slack, total float or slack, and zero float or slack in Project Libre. Now let's open up Project Libre. Now I've already prepared a project schedule with our tasks, duration, as well as your task dependencies. Now let's first of all add our free slack or float column. So in the column header, right click on your mouse. Say so insert column and then type free on the keyboard. That's our free slack and say OK. Now let's add our total slack column. Right click again on the column header. Say so insert column and type total on the keyboard. And say OK. So that's our total slack column. And in the Gantt, anywhere on the Gantt, right click on the mouse. Say bar style and total slack. And we display our total slack on the Gantt. Now let's interpret what we have added to the project schedule. And first of all, have a look at our critical path or zero float or slack. Now the critical path, that's a sequence of task or activities with the longest path through a project and the task with zero float. Now, if any of these tasks are delayed, your project will be delayed. So for our example, we've got task A, which has zero float, either in the free slack or total slack, task D, as well as task H. And by default, a project library indicates the task with our zero float in red. So that's against task A in red, task D, and task H. Now secondly, let's have a look at our free float or slack. Now that's the amount of time a task can be delayed without delaying a successor task. For this example, we've got task B. It's got a free float of four days. So task B can be delayed by four days before it will have an impact on task C. So that's the Monday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. Now task F has got a free float of two days. And task G has got a free float of one day. Now thirdly, let's have a look at our total float or slack. That is the amount of time a task can be delayed without delaying the project. So we've got task B. Now task B is connected to task F, which is connected to task G, which is connected to task H. Now task B can be delayed four days, plus two days, plus one day. So it can be delayed by seven days. The total slack is seven days. Now task C is connected to task E, connected to task G, connected to task H. So C can be delayed by one day. That's our total slack. Task E is connected to task G, connected to F, so it can be delayed by one day. Task F is connected to G, connected to F, so the total slack is two plus one is three days. And then lastly, task G is connected to task H, and it can be delayed by one day. So the total slack is one day. I hope this video helped you to better understand how to view your free float, total float, and zero float in Project Libre. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, or you can subscribe to my channel for more project management related videos.